Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This week we're gonna paint in gouache and we're gonna talk about light. Um, we are in uh, Los Angeles, so we're gonna talk about this specific light in California. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we're gonna be doing the drawing. And uh, as usual, I always try to look at my portrait as a very big shape. I use proportions and uh, plumb lines, so many vertical lines and horizontal lines. You can see the way I hold my pencil as a way to measure distances and um, I use especially inclinations in my drawings. After the drawing is solid and I'm happy, I start to stain the illustration board. And uh, this week we are working again with gouache on illustration board. And uh, I have actually the luxury of using all my 12 colors. And I'll put a list of my colors in the description below if you are curious. My first uh, wash, I decided to go with uh, blue. And uh, I was very careful to place down the strokes in a way that had character and were expressionistic because I want that background to be there until the end. This image is very uh, unique, very bizarre. There is a, a double lighting situation and uh, there is a distortion so that the nose is actually coming out of the the picture towards us and uh, for me it was very important to think about light a uh, color and uh, atmosphere in this piece I've decided to go with my darkest dark um, so my shadows with the uh, cool colors so I've decided to do the hair blue ultramarine blue and um, the forehead uh, that is in shadow and uh, the chin in green and then play against uh, orange and yellow very strongly saturated and this is what I think about the when California light a golden uh, hue end of the day sun coming down beautiful sunset i remember when i moved to san francisco eight years ago i went to the moma and uh, i was looking at the permanent collection i think and and i i just encountered a painting a few paintings actually of uh, tebow and i was stunned by the color and the way was able to paint the Californian colors and light especially they use this very strong orange and yellow to show the golden light and this very cool blue beautiful transparent shadows that are fresh and that light blue that there is no gray anywhere so it just looks so Californian so American to me to my Italian European gray eyes and I was in love and 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 I think that I wanted to bring that into my art at least uh, a bit of it even if maybe that's not my origin and that's not where I was born but living in California for seven years and I think that really uh, has an impact on, uh, on the way I see the world and uh, even today I, I still spend three months of, of the year in California with Brian and his family and, uh, and I really live the atmosphere and so my world and my vision is split between Milan and the grayness and the beautiful shapes and the design and the attention to detail and the craft and the love past 
and uh, in California where everything is new and everything is so disconnected and it pops out and it just jumps up to your eyes and I think they're both part of who I am today so I do want to keep it into my painting but really as painter we re we think about light and we try to understand light as the vehicle that shows us the world. So this obviously is just one specific light situation, which is not common. This was a very special moment. Uh, we actually three years ago decided to leave San Francisco, where we lived almost for seven years, quit our jobs and start a brand new life and moved back to Europe. And so we moved back to Italy three years ago to start a family. And, uh, and so we actually spent a year in LA and uh, at a great time. And that day we were in the car as we usually are in LA. And we were going to the LA Art Fair. And one split second, I don't know what happened, but we had the light from the back and then we had this other light from his left side that hit his eye and it was reflecting all that beautiful yellow light. And it's such a, a strong emotion when you leave a place and you start a new adventure. And for me, it was just going back home to Italy. And for, for Ryan, it was a brand new adventure. So it's just so exciting, it, basically exactly he was doing exactly the same things I did for him eight years before when from Milan I moved to San Francisco to live with him. The first layer is filling in all the colors and the shadows and now I've done that. The second part of my painting in gouache is to blend, to blend just certain edges and a very strong characteristic of gouache is that it tends to create very hard edges. And I love hard edges, so oftentimes my paintings are just a little too hard. So on this painting, I decided to work for a longer time on the, on the blending. And the blending technique, it's very simple. You just get your brush, put it in the water, wash it, then tap it on a paper towel, and when it has a little bit of water but it's not damp, you go and you agitate all your, the edges you want to soften up. And that's basically the same for all painting techniques. It's the same that you do in oil, but um, it dries really quickly so you can see uh, the effect that comes out. But until the gouache is not completely dry, you don't really know exactly uh, what volume, what color you will get. So that's a little bit of the difficulty of, of gouache. You, you mix something, then when you put it on uh, your painting and it dries, it changes. So you can see when I put down a note of color that when it dries, it could get darker or lighter. So it's a little confusing. So it needs some time, you need some time with gouache to, in order to get to know it. And in this painting, what was really interesting for me was this uh, latest part where I was able to move the paint around. And so I was able to get maybe a little bit of the yellow of my light and move it into the shadow and do the opposite. And then uh, the latest part was to add this dark background just to uh, pop the head a little bit more out and make it more three-dimensional and then uh, really knock down some of the areas that uh, where the ears and the hair and the neck and the jaw so that it gives it gives it an even more three-dimensional look That was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you next week with a new